Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for March. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. So this is being recorded in February, so it may not resonate at all right now. Please watch it in March, okay? It may resonate now, but it's really geared for the month of March, so please keep that in mind. You know, this is like a preview at this point, okay? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these and one of these for an overall energy. If this comes out reversed, no. These two are not going to be reversed. These, yes. If they come out reversed, they come out reversed. Let's see what comes up for Taurus for March 2019. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, what do you got for Taurus? Now, these readings are for people that are struggling. Okay, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. Probably not, okay? Ace of Wands. Woo! Yeah! New partner. New sexual partner. New vision. New approach. New passion. New desire. New way. New beginning. Don't give up, though. Make sure you keep the faith. There you are on the bottom. Believe in yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay? You're being divinely guided, okay? That's a, that faith card. That's you. Your inner guide is speaking to you. So really pay attention. Maybe you just got this new drive, this new ambition, right? Got this newfound faith. Maybe other people see it and they're attracted to you. Maybe you have some instant attraction with somebody. That could be the case. Another card for Taurus. Contract. Wonderful. Wonderful. So you may be getting into a new contract. Make sure you don't got a blindfold on. Okay, make sure that blindfold is off. You know, because you, you may be signing a contract or getting into a new partnership or something in which, you know, you're going to have to really make sure you're not blindfolded here. Okay, be careful. Be really careful. You may be getting yourself into a new partnership by the looks of things. Um, maybe it's blind faith because this can be blind faith as well maybe you're being called to have blind faith maybe you got this new instant attraction with somebody and you're going to have to have faith in it and trust and believe you know maybe, maybe you got to have some blind faith here Mm. You got to open yourself up, right? Let go, let go of some of your insecurities. Maybe it's time to face some of your insecurities. I mean, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is a blessing, huh? You're receiving some sort of wish with the star card. It's a time of hope and faith, okay? You got to, you know. <laughs> Maybe you're reluctant, though. It does. It looks like you're reluctant. You're reluctant to allow somebody into your life you're, you're reluctant to believe right it's like somebody wants you to give them a chance and you don't dare you don't dare mm -mm. it's what you've been getting ready for and you're like oh i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready well it's what you wished for so now now you got this this new partner this new opportunity here being offered to you and you don't <coughs> trust it Right? It's what you've been waiting for. It's like you fear, you fear that this may not work out. You gotta let go of those fears. You gotta replace that fear with faith. There's no joke. Oh my God. 
So, uh, yeah, this is a big, 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 big opportunity. It's something that you have manifested. You have manifested a gift. I'm not kidding. This is a gift. You have manifested a gift, and it's and it's a, oh, it's a passionate one, okay? It's going to make you feel alive again. It's going to take you out of this stagnant period. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to start building a foundation with somebody else. Maybe it's time to let go of your fears, to let go of those old ways, you know? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to step over that finish line, finally, finally, to let go of the emptiness that you have hung on to. You're being offered some sort of blessing. Are you ready? Are you ready to let go of that emptiness? Uh-oh. We got a contradiction here. Now, you know, you, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Taurus? You're going to throw it away? You have an opportunity for passion. You have a person or a situation that's coming into your life that is very attractive. Um, there's room for growth and it's like you're, you're shutting it down. Why? Why, 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 why? It's like you're not motivated. Why? You're not motivated? Why? Because you have been abused in the past? You're letting the past abuse hold you back? Because there's somebody in the, back, in the past that there's unfinished business with that abused you? That couldn't love you? That didn't know how to love? Therefore, you're throwing away a new opportunity, a new beginning, something that could lead to something solid? We have to take this one too. We'll put it right here for now. It's like you're blocking. You're blocking a golden opportunity because of somebody that abused you. I'm not kidding here. King of Swords in reverse is abuse. So you're letting this person still have control over you when you have a new opportunity. Oh, that's the card that fell out. You're not being grounded. You're not being realistic. You're throwing away the freaking opportunity. No shit. You're throwing away an opportunity because of stubbornness. Um, maybe, maybe you're too focused on your money. You're too focused on your job. You're not really focused on love. You know, maybe you just don't have the desire to let anybody in for some reason. What the hell is this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Come on now. It's like you just, it's like you don't have anything to give. Why? You don't have the desire. Somebody's attracted to you. You got this new opportunity. Somebody wants you. And I think there is an attraction, but it's like you don't have a desire. You don't have a desire to give for some reason. They're trying to give you an opportunity. They're trying to give you something. And it's like, I'm not sure I have anything to give to you. You know, I feel like you are probably right, quite happy right where you're at. Maybe you are... Afraid you are definitely afraid of getting yourself into a third party situation. You don't want to be involved in that. I feel like you don't want to make any bad decisions. You don't. You're you're not willing to be flexible. You're not willing to to um, have your life turned upside down. I feel like somebody wants you to give them a chance. They want to take you out. They want to date you. They want to give you things. They want to um, be a part of your life. And you're just like, no, I don't have time for this right now. I don't have time for this. That kind of energy. 
Somebody may want a reunion, just saying. I mean, that Three of Cups is a reunion. I mean, somebody could be coming with some sort of big offer, and you're just like, you don't believe them because they were a player in the past, just saying. I mean, this is my player card, and this is the third. But you may have been involved with somebody in the past that played you, and you're like, huh. I don't think so, buddy. Anyhow, um, it feels to me like you... Hmm. are reluctant. You are absolutely re reluctant to accept this offer from something. You're so reluctant. It's like, I'm, I have my own offer right here. I'm pretty stable right where I'm at. Maybe you're out and about. You know, you're at some party. You're at some sort of celebration. You're at some sort of gathering. Maybe you're even at the bar. I don't know. Maybe you're out with your friends, whatever. You're out partying, whatever. Some of you don't party. Maybe you're just at a gathering, whatever. With your friends. I don't know. You're out and about and you have some reunion with somebody and, you know, the sparks start flying and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to shut this down right now. I got to shut this down instantly. Even though I am highly attracted, I have to shut this down instantly because this person caused so much chaos in my life in the past. Or this could even be a new opportunity, but and you don't want chaos. It's just like, I don't have time for this. I don't want to be played. I don't want to be played. <laughs> yeah. You know, if they're, they're, I mean, the Ten of Swords... This is betrayal. The end. I feel like there is somebody that has betrayed you in the past that may want you to give them a chance and you are scared to death of being played. Is this somebody from the past or what? It could be. And, and the thing is, is maybe somebody in the past betrayed you so bad and there's somebody new and you are still scared to death of being played. Either way, whichever way this is, there is a new offer coming in here. There is an attraction. There is a mutual attraction. Whether this is somebody from your past or somebody brand new, there is a new opportunity here that is being offered to you and you are scared to death of being played, period. You manifested this new beginning. You did. And you're afraid of, of, of them not sticking around. It's like, what? What, you going to come and go? Perhaps this person um, <laughs> wants to have some sort of commitment with you. I do feel like you're going to meet this person at a gathering. You're going to come into contact with this person at some sort of gathering. There is no doubt about it. It's going to be a get-together. There's going to be a get-together and you're going to come into contact with somebody that you are highly attracted to. And, you know, there's an opportunity for you guys to build something. There is. There is an opportunity. This person may want to build something with you. And you're just like, huh. you know, this isn't realistic. This isn't, you may feel like this isn't the right time. This isn't realistic. This is, um... Maybe it's a painful period in your life. Maybe you're still dealing with some pain. Maybe you're still hurting over a situation and you're reluctant to accept their offer. I think that you are definitely reluctant to accept their offer. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. Somebody wants a reconciliation. A reconciliation. They want another chance. Now, this can also be a past life. It is. Because judgment is, pa is, 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 is life, okay? It is past life. It is when you, when you go up to heaven and you have that, uh, you know, purging, whatever it is, the whole nine yards, I'm not going to go into it. You know, th you, this could be somebody from a past life. This does signify somebody from the past, you know, reconciliation. So somebody from a past life or somebody from the past, past, this past, you know, could be coming back into your life and there could be an opportunity to reconcile, okay? For for two soulmates to come back together, this is no joke, okay? And um, there's been some hurt. There's Somebody is hurting really bad. Somebody is definitely hurting or they have been hurt really bad. And there's, there's an opportunity to forgive, release, 
accept, live again. And this is unfinished business. So there could be some unfinished business with somebody that really hurt you. Could be in this lifetime, could be in a past lifetime. And there's some sort of celebration that comes about where you come into contact with this person. Could be at a church, could be... Um, A wedding, could be a funeral, could be a picnic, could be the bar. <laughs> I mean, because there's drinking, there's a partying, you know, there could be anything. There's some sort of get together where you come into contact with somebody that may need forgiveness, okay, in some way. Whoever this person is, you know, they're, they're, wanting to offer you that ace of wands they're wanting to offer you this passion they they have an they're attracted to you and and they want to grow something with you and they they want to um start something go on a new journey with you of some sort they want to do something with you that's for damn sure it looks to me like they want they they see you as commitment material they may want to start uh get married to you in the future you know may, they may see you as marriage material um, i think they're very excited about you they see you as that that you could make them happy um, this person is actually a pretty good match for you whoever this person is um you may you probably have a lot in common with this person, whoever it is. Um, but you're really conflicted. And I think this person has probably been watching you. This person has been watching you and been interested for some time. I think this person is probably going to... They may find their ability to actually communicate with you after they have been holding back for some time. I think there's somebody is getting some sort of a, going through some sort of wake up call. You know, they're getting some sort of epiphany that it's time to take a step. It's it's time to move forward. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! So it's it's like I think you're getting an offer, <laughs> Taurus. I think that somebody is is seeing that you know you're their their one. This is a soulmate connection. There's no doubt. I think that two people are coming together after a very difficult time with that Ten of Swords. I think this has been delayed because the time wasn't right, and now the time is right. I feel like, you know, you have manifested a new beginning, and what you've been praying for, what you have been wishing for, I mean, with that Star card, is, is coming, and I think that you're scared of it. You are scared to death. You are scared to death because you have been stabbed and hurt and betrayed really really badly and therefore it feels like you are trying to push this person away you're trying to shut it down you're probably gonna you're probably to like no 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 but there's a soulmate connection here that is undeniable okay there is there's a soulmate connection here that is absolutely undeniable um there's no doubt i mean it's the truth so um this could be like a life partner kind of thing I feel like we have, I just happened to notice that red card, no. That's a sign from heaven, okay, and this is somebody passed away. Somebody that has passed away may be guiding you two together, whoever this is. I think there are two people that are coming together after there has been some neglect, there has been some some abuse and therefore you are scared to death to let anybody in but this person that is coming in is a positive influence and they would like you to give them a chance they're asking for a chance somebody wants you to give them a chance who is this person who is this person? Oh. Somebody you have been in conflict with before. Somebody that has caused a lot of tension in your life. <laughs> oh. 
but maybe they've changed. I mean, I hate to say this shit. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, what goes around comes around, right? Good luck is on its way. You're, you're rece This is a change of course. This is a lucky break. Something is changing. You are going to receive some sort of reward. Who is this person? This could be somebody brand new. Maybe it's somebody you played with before, maybe when you were younger. Because these, these people, they could be playing. Maybe it is somebody you played with before. Could be Scorpio, could be a Taurus, could be a Leo, could be an Aquarius. You got a big old change on the horizon. Your life is about to change, and this is something you wished for. This is something you've manifested. Pay attention. If you've been thinking about somebody, a lot you know maybe this is somebody that you grew up with I don't know be beware I mean maybe maybe don't need I feel like you have called in a soulmate and now that this soulmate is here you're like whoa whoa this person is absolutely well suited for you and they are they are wanting you know this is the page of cups they're attracted. They they're crushing on you. There's there they are. <laughs> I feel like we have a message of love coming in. We have some love that's coming into your life unexpectedly. I think it's it's what you have wished for, and now that it's here, you're scared of it. That's what I see. I feel like we have somebody here that is seeing that, you know, you're the one, you're you're their destiny. They think that you're the, their destiny. They think that, you know, you're their angel. You see all the wings on these? There's wings. This is angels. And this, the Wheel of Fortune does signify angel protection. You see the wings? They see you as an angel. Hello? I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. I'm not even going to go there. Anyhow, um, I believe that you are, that somebody from the other side, either it's an angel or somebody that has passed on, is bringing you together with a soulmate that you are meant to be with at this time in your life. And you are going to have to make a decision as to whether you are ready for it or not. This is a soulmate contract. It absolutely is. This is a soulmate contract. You are coming together with a life partner. And it could lead to marriage for sure. This is marriage. This is marriage. This is this is like marriage material. Don't shut it down because of your fears. I'm going to get one of these. We got a new partner here. We do. Don't don't shut it down. Don't shut it down because of the past betrayal. Please. Just because you were abused in the past doesn't mean this person is going to abuse you. Looks to me like this person is going to love you. It's time to live again. It's wish. It's a wish. It's your wish being granted. It is. It is. Maybe you do need to have blind faith. 
This could lead to something long-term, solid, marriage, stable. Ugh, the whole nine yards. One of these. Mmm. Peace. I'm a being of love, and I release all negative energy. This is your advice. This is a this is a soulmate contract that is meant to be that is coming together. Release the negative past. Release the person that hurt you and let this person love you. Good luck.